The first scripture reading today is Psalm chapter 25, verses 4 through 10. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me. For the sake of your goodness, O Lord, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The second scripture reading for today is from Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 28. An expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. As he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hello, my name is Jane Treadway, and this year I had the pleasure of going on the youth mission trip to Appalachia. My group and I worked on a trailer home for an elderly woman, Mally Sue, whose family lived next door. Every day we would show up a little more tired than the day before to pick up where we had left off. Our largest undertaking during the five days we were there was to make a back porch for the owner entirely from, from scratch. As someone who could barely look at a saw out of fright, building a porch scared me to death. Yet through the guidance of Jenna, Steve, and Emily, I watched in amazement as we dug the holes, put in the posts, added the frame, laid the planks, and built a functioning staircase. In less than a week, through dedication and persistence, we helped transform this trailer home. And Mally Sue and her family couldn't have been more grateful. Her grandson, Sean, showed up throughout the workday, congratulating us on our work we were accomplishing us, or we were accomplishing, bringing us drinks and food, um, and offering us traditional, additional supplies. Through his generosity, I saw God at work. Sean and his family struggled financially, as most people in Appalachia do, due to a limited job market and a lack of resources, a systemic problem that has plagued the area for centuries. Yet here he was, making time out of his busy schedule to buy us drinks and snacks, so we were cared for and content as we worked on his grandmother's trailer home. And his generosity was mirrored in his grandmother. Mally Sue, whose old age and poor health made it hard for her to walk, decided to visit us one day on the work site to see how we were progressing. The gentleness in the way her grandson held her arm and helped her maneuver around the work site was a blessing to see. He never rushed her. Instead, pointing out to Mally Sue what step the group was on in the process of building the porch and the work that had been done on the band joists. This relationship between grandson and grandmother was one of my favorite moments of the entire trip. The love that the family shared was so clear, and every time I saw Mally Sue and her family interact, I had to stop and watch. All of the little gestures and kind words and bright smiles made me realize how important the little moments between people are. And this kindness was not limited to family members. Mally Sue, upon seeing our work, our work, thanked us profusely, complimenting us on how far we had gotten in such a so short time. Her joy, so clearly displayed on her face, was more than enough to keep us going. I began to look forward to her and Sean's checkups, just to see the gratitude that they had for everything we were doing. However, the excitement she expressed uh, viewing the work site pales in comparison to the pure delight that filled her countenance upon stepping out on the porch for the first time. Her joy was contagious and made everything, the long hours in the heat that seemed to stretch on for eternity, and the frustration that came with any labor-intensive project, especially when we had to redo our work over and over and over again. 
it was more than worth it. For many years to come, I will remember her face and the joy it expressed because to Mally Sue, the fact that we had taken time to come all the way up from Texas to help repair her home meant the world. Now, she could safely exit her home in case of emergency, giving her and her family a little more security. Now, the funds that would have had to go to fixing the house could go to her health care, make it more plausible that she could get her necessary treatment. Now, she didn't have to worry about her home and how structurally safe it was and how much longer she could wait before getting it repaired. A single work out of our two and a half month long summer vacation changed this family's life. And to me, that is the miracle of God. The fact that we all have the power to transform our world with one single act of kindness. Thank you. My name is Libby McCutcheon, and I also went on the 2023 Appalachian trip. I was asked earlier this week if I could pick out my favorite memory amongst all the memories that I had. And I thought about it for days because I could not decide what that would be. Would it be joining together at the Bluegrass gra concert and dancing and then other youth groups joining in? Would it be creating the porch and watching Mally Sue step on it, truly changing my life as I saw her face and how grateful she was? Or is it when Jane and I finally finished the stairs after doing math again I never thought I'd have to do geometry outside of school. <laughs> and I settled on the, the entire day of the work trip, probably the last one, where we finally felt confident and settled in what we were doing and saw Mally Sue. Sean and Mally Sue had come up and had been offered to work with us, and Sean even suggested that he was the one who helped dig holes, even though we were doing this for him. He bought us lunch and Mally Sue came up and she watched us do the finishing touches and Allie, Grace, and I made sure to stay extra so we could finish what we had started. My favorite picture and favorite memory is when she finally stepped out and watched as our porch held steady made by hands of people who genuinely cared and she could walk around safely. We all took a picture and I remember thinking this is what I was made here to do. This is why God put me on this trip. I learned about loving God in many different ways during this trip. I've heard stories about kind things that people would do in order to honor him, but seeing how that family interacted with each other in such a loving and caring way truly changed my perspective. I learned what it is to be so selfless to offer someone who is doing someone you a favor drinks and making sure they're comfortable and being generous in a ways that I had never seen before. Mally Sue was old and she was doing her best. She was mobile, it was tough for her, but she still came up to see us almost every day to make sure that we were doing okay. And if she couldn't, she'd send her son and the way that I saw them interact with the world around them, with the nature, with each other, with their grandmother, I finally learned what it meant when God's love is infinite. I'll take many things from this trip. It changed my life in a way that I hadn't expected, learning that what my hands could do could bring good to other people, that even something so simple as screwing in screws to wood and making a porch could change someone's life in the best ways. I learned that I will forever be grateful for that opportunity and that now going forward, I will try to honor God in that same way every time. Good morning. Um, first, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Jenna Fowler. I've been coming to Northridge worship services for about two years now. I grew up in the Presbyterian Church in Oklahoma and attended mission trips myself as a youth for many summers. When Emily first emailed me and asked me to go on a nine-day trip to a different state with a group of people I did not know at all, 
I knew immediately that I wanted to go. <laughs> what a blessing and joy it was to serve as a sponsor and be on the other side of mission trips, which had an enormous impact on my teenage years and even the person I am today. There are so many stories and lessons from our trip to Appalachia, and I struggled to focus on what I felt was most important to be shared, but I decided on two things. One, the impressive youth that are before you today, and also gracious love in the face of adversity. The youth on this trip are giving, kind, accepting, hardworking, and also hilarious. The work site I was at all week you've already heard about was building the porch for Mally Sue, one of the sweetest women you could ever meet. And I have to be honest that I was incredibly skeptical of our ability with the team that we were to build a deck in one week. Progress was slow at first, those first couple of days, and a lot of the youth were timid to use the saw, the drill, the hammer. But by the end of the week, we were a fully functional construction site. The determination and dedication exhibited by everyone on the job site was admirable and inspiring. We did have to redig holes, spend hours leveling posts just to re-level them again, spend time waiting for more supplies, cut boards with hand saws, and in general, deal with some other complications. But the sense of joy and accomplishment in the air when Mally Sue was able to step out on the deck for the first time was immeasurable. As you've already heard, Mally Sue is the matriarch of a family comprised of the kindest hearted people you could meet. And the star of the show was Sean, her grandson, who was on the job site with us every day, helping us lift heavy things, providing us with cold waters, and making sure we had everything we possibly needed to get the job done. This family has been through many hardships, which they shared with us through the week as we got to know them more. But they still truly embody love and exhibit a deep care for each other, as well as us, strangers to them. Watching Sean patiently tend to Mally Sue was a reminder of the kind of tender, gracious, and patient love we all receive from God, and the kind of love that we are taught to exhibit to others. Good morning. Why do I go on this trip? You just heard why I go on this trip. It is a wonderful experience, wonderful experience. Lots of times we're going into it with a little trepidation. This year, it was hot. There were wasps, and sometimes the food was eh, but it was still wonderful. At the beginning of the trip, you're not sure. By the end of the trip, you're positive that this was one of the best weeks you've ever had. That's why I go on the trip. Three things that I remember, will take away and remember are, number one, going on the trip with and working with an entire team of females. No boys on my team. They say, we're going to do this, this, and this, and we're going to build this back porch. And I go, OK. Has anybody ever dug a hole? No. Has anybody ever used a circular saw? No. Is anybody able to screw this screw in that's about that long? No. But you know what? They did it. They did it. Not me. I showed them how to do this and that and helped them hold the boards. But they did it. And by the end of the week, I was so proud I could not express it. Second thing I am going to say is the highlight of the week for me personally was here I was in Appalachia on a Tuesday night, beautiful Tuesday night, a little warm, and we were listening to bluegrass music from real bluegrass players that had played together for 20 or 25 years. It was unbelievable. It was like a scene out of... Uh, uh, Netflix uh, documentary or something. You look out the window and it's Appalachia. 
You know, the people are Appalachians. Uh, and then they started dancing, some jig or something that I'd never seen before. It was unbelievable. It was great. The third thing I'm going to say is I love going on these trips, and they, are all, they always end up the same way. That is that these kids transform themselves from being kids to being workers, to being friends, to being Christians, to being helpers, to being people that you want to be around. It, it's always a wonderful experience, and I hope one of, you, one of these days one of you guys gets to go. It's the best thing going, and it's free for the adults. <laughs>